Good day. I am Janine Rose Mangoncejo. I am Diana Rose Burburan. I am Trixie Cartatibo. I am Iana de los Reyes. I am Diane Therese Pispargoza and we are from Group 3E1B. And our research study is titled Perceptions of Nursing Students Towards COVID-19 Vaccination. The Philippines launched its vaccination drive in March of 2021 to combat COVID-19. Nursing students are part of the priority groups for COVID-19 vaccination and they are highly encouraged by the government and their school institutions to get vaccinated. Yet, vaccination hesitancy among this group is prevalent. Thus, this study aimed to explore the perceptions of nursing students towards COVID-19 vaccination. The scripted qualitative design was utilized. The flexible design allowed the researchers to deeply explore the perception of the participants. Moreover, this qualitative method aided the researchers to identify different viewpoints and opinions between participants. Six nursing students were chosen as participants through purposive sampling. A semi-structured interview guide that was used through which researchers were able to analyze the participants' perspectives, views, and insight concerning COVID-19 vaccination. Moreover, online interviews were conducted. In this study, four essential themes were identified. For the first team, vulnerability of the nursing students to COVID-19. A, exposure to COVID-19 due to the need to run for important errands. According to the participant, she is prone to COVID-19 because they go out for groceries. And with that, she thinks she needs to get vaccinated. They perceive that going out is dangerous. And even though they are protected, we are also subjective and prone to the said virus. B, unvaccinated companions in the household possess the nursing students to be infected with COVID-19 even when they are vaccinated. According to one participant, we are all susceptible to COVID-19, vaccinated or not. C. Concerns for the companions with underlying conditions. Some nursing students have family members who have underlying conditions like high blood and history of stroke. Companions with underlying conditions often decide not to participate in the vaccination, which can be a threat to the health of the household members, including the nursing students. For the second theme, Hindrances towards COVID-19 vaccination interest among the nursing students. First is the reliance to the opinions of significant others and medical professionals. Decisions of nursing students with regards to the uptake of the vaccine often depend on the decisions of their parents or guardians and medical professionals they rely on when it comes to health matters. Though they are of legal age, some of them still get permission from their parents. According to one participant, doctors all over the world said that once the vaccine is induced into our body, it slowly triggers our immune system which can later on cause weakened immune system from many booster shots until the body can fight other kinds of sickness. This information caused her to be hesitant at the vaccine. Next is the negative impressions about the COVID-19 vaccines. Some negative impressions of the nursing students about the vaccine are that the mRNA type of vaccine genetically engineer our DNA, then we will become zombies. Some of the nursing students don't think that the vaccine is really good for the health. For them, the vaccine is unreliable and poses a threat to our health. Next is the anticipation for target brand of vaccine. Since the brand of vaccine differs in various vaccination sites and a person cannot choose her vaccine on site, a participant stated that if her vaccine of choice is not available, then she would not engage in the vaccination. Next is the fear on the side effects of the COVID-19 vaccine. Some fears include weakened immune system, other adverse effects, and death. One participant said that she have a family member and several people they know that complained that they have changes in their bodies after being vaccinated. For example, they normally get fever once or twice a year, but now they are concerned because it has been like almost any time they get sick. Another participant said that there were instant deaths that has been happening and other stuff like they had severe sickness. Next is COVID-19 vaccination as an experimental intervention. The participants stated that the vaccine is still an ongoing study and that they refuse to be part of the experiment. One participant said that maybe she will get immunized after 5 or 8 years because the vaccine should be cultured for study for about 8 to 10 years before it gets approved. Next is the confidence that COVID-19 can be cured and be controlled without vaccination. A participant stated that it is possible to control COVID-19 by following health protocols. Also, according 
according to them, one survived COVID-19 without being vaccinated. Next is the suspicions and the intentions of the government in the implementation of the COVID-19 vaccination program. A participant said that they have realized when the government implemented that all people should be vaccinated, there was an increase in the number of people who got COVID-19 again. So they really think this is all a pandemic. Nursing students are suspicious also of the information on the internet, such as the statistical data about the COVID-19 cases also as to why vaccines are free. Next is the presence of underlying conditions. Some nursing students have not yet gone to vaccination because of allergies and asthma that may be triggered once vaccine has been introduced. For the third theme, benefits of COVID-19 vaccination. First, effectiveness of COVID-19 vaccination. Some participants find the vaccination to be effective because it lowers COVID-19 cases and it minimizes the spread of the virus. Next, lower chances of contracting and spreading the virus that causes COVID-19. Some participants believe that the vaccination lessens the severity of COVID-19 once infected and it helps lessen the number of cases and boost our immune system. Next, purposes of being vaccinated such as freedom to go out and travel, for transactions and enter establishments that requires vaccination record. Last but not least, protection against COVID-19 in the community as a whole. According to the participants, the vaccine ensures protection. If you are vaccinated, the transmission of the virus will be reduced and the spread of the virus will be minimized which benefits the community. For the last team, pressure on nursing students to get vaccinated. Requirement for school. COVID-19 vaccination record is a requirement for face-to-face -face classes so the nursing students feel pressured to get vaccinated even though they are still hesitant. One participant said that she felt pressured because of the thought that they might have their face-to-face -face, and since nursing is a skill-based course, she wanted to be vaccinated in order to attend face-to-face -face classes. A participant who is strong to her stand that she will not participate in the vaccination cited that Republic Act 11525 in Section 12 states that the requirement of vaccination for education purposes, for work, and for other transactions should not be mandatory. She believes that the law will protect them and it's not mandatory and they don't harm people. She also said that it's alright if she cannot enter the school since there is online and they have started their college journey online. She doesn't think that there could be an hindrance in continuing in her studies. Some nursing students also experience discrimination from being unvaccinated. One participant said that people discriminate against them, saying things like, what about your school and your future? So she felt being unvaccinated makes them less as a person. And some feel obliged to get vaccinated as part of the healthcare team. A participant said she got pressured because as a medically inclined student, she is responsible to vaccinate people and so it is a challenge for her. She said, how can you encourage other people to get vaccinated if you yourself is not vaccinated? For the conclusion, the study found that the nursing students perceive themselves to still be vulnerable to COVID-19 because their exposure to COVID-19 is exacerbated by several factors, such as the need to run for important errands. They have unvaccinated companions in the household and they are concerned for their companions with underlying conditions. Even though they perceive themselves to be vulnerable or susceptible to COVID-19, there are still factors that hinders the nursing students from participating in COVID-19 vaccination some of which are their fear of side effects, negative impression on the vaccines, and such. Despite the hindrances or barriers, some of the participants perceive the COVID-19 vaccination as an effective intervention. Moreover, the nursing students feel pressure to participate in COVID-19 vaccination because it is a requirement for school. They experience discrimination for being unvaccinated, and they feel obliged to get vaccinated since they are part of the healthcare team. The perceptions of nursing students towards COVID-19 vaccination may facilitate awareness and in-depth understanding on how unvaccinated individuals perceive the vaccination, may improve the planning and implementation of the vaccination program. The stakeholders may also refer to the significant statements in the results and discussions to correct any misinformation that the participants have heard or perceived. For the recommendation, the DOH and LGU officials may conduct webinars or programs to people who are still hesitant to get vaccinated in order to provide factual information about the vaccine and the benefits of vaccination to individuals and community. The College of Nursing Administrators may offer the students who are firm to their decision of not participating yet in the vaccination alternative requirements other than COVID-19 vaccination record, which may assure the nursing students that they may still attend their face-to-face -face classes. The future researchers may explore perception from male nursing students since participants from the study are all female. 
Furthermore, the researchers suggest that perception of nursing students from other universities in the Philippines may be explored. So that ends our presentation of our research study. Thank you for watching.